Okay, so this is me building up the courage to ask one of my favorite guitar players of all time that one single question. Uh, let's see how it goes. Is it possible to play a snippet of um, Day and Age? Oh yeah! I would just love to hear it. Of course. Okay, so what I was about to hear would blow my mind. Let me explain. So, sitting next to me was Julian Lage, and many, including myself, consider him among the greatest guitarists currently on the planet. And I discovered that eight years ago when I was looking for a new acoustic guitar and I saw him demo that very guitar I was interested in. So in that video he played one of the prettiest acoustic tunes I heard day and age. But what stood out was his, his touch, his fluency, his expression on the guitar. It just hit me hard, as if he was playing in an all other league. Anyway, after I left a quick little comment seven years ago, that video sold me a guitar. So with my new baby in hand, I immediately started learning that very tune. And through the years, you can see me playing that song day and age in my videos regularly. So playing that tune alone already taught me so many things about the acoustic guitar, but at the same time, I fell in love with its electric work. This tune, for example, Nocturne. So back then when learning that song, I made a profile based on that fabulous tone and I used that sound for our interview. I think I once made this profile actually when playing your uh, Live in LA Nocturne. Oh really? Uh, because you had oh, the little champ, mean... right? Yeah. It was based on the champ. But Is it really? Of course... <laughs> <laughs> That's great. It sounds like it. A little bit, right? Yeah, it totally sounds like it. How funny. His dynamics, his timing, his tone, his unbelievable improvisation. This just left me working on so many different elements of my playing, many things people often ignore, but it's just these little things that are so important for me now. And to top it all off, the first time I saw him play live was just so mind-blowing that I jokingly photoshopped us hanging together. Ugh, I'm usually not like this. Anyway, ultimately, uh, it also led to me getting this guitar, I'm sure you remember, uh, and this guitar is very important to me. Uh, on it, I wrote a lot of my own music, Amber's Embrace, big parts of it, Lakeside as well, um, it's just a very important guitar for me. And now fast forward to seven years later, and I'm kind of in shock because Julian visited the studio. Not only did it turn into one of the most inspiring chats I ever had about a guitar, this will be posted soon by the way, so keep an eye out for that, subscribe to the channel if you aren't. Um, and it ended that whole conversation with one of the most beautiful and touching and personal improvisations I ever heard. What I find so fascinating is that in the core of what he's playing, there's the song Day and Age, a song that I know so well. But he takes that as an idea, as a sort of framework and goes all over the place without skipping a beat. And being so free on the guitar with the song as a boundary, that is, it's just so impressive. He knows the fretboard and the instrument so well, the amount of headspace he has left to just feel the moment and play intuitively is just next level for me. He didn't prepare anything. He didn't know I was going to ask this. Like, it's crazy. And that's why this kind of playing, for me at least, will always be more impressive than something sheer technical. N not saying that the two cannot meet, because later that night I saw Julian play and just, he can shred like no one. I'm, it's crazy, honestly. So please listen to how he starts off chaotic almost, with clusters that slowly morph into the original theme. He starts playing more and more melodic <laughs> as the tune progresses. Oh, what a Is joy. Is it possible to play a snippet of um, Day and Age? Oh yeah. I would just love to hear, of course, hear a little bit. Man, of course. <laughs>
Beautiful. Thanks, man. That's really... So I hope you could follow along with the tabs. This is just crazy. The tabs are available for download, by the way, on my Patreon page, if you want to check it out. Uh, but the best thing, he also did his take on my funny Valentine, which from an objective standpoint might be even more impressive, but that day and age shake was just so magical for me personally. I just wanted to share it. I also love to hear from you, by the way. What has been your favorite improvisation you witnessed? A video or a live performance you've seen? I love to hear all about it in the comment section. Please let me know. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And thanks, Julian, for being here and being so cool. You're a legend. Cheers.